Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So, that guy lost. Yeah, he lost. I don't even know what the freak happened, but we're gonna be playing Jockster here. Trying to go late game. We're gonna go uh, subs and balloon chippers and uh, Dartling Gunner. No, not Darling Gunner. Uh, no Darling Gunners can see camo. Yeah, we're going with it. <laughs> we're doing it. We're going to see what we can do. I don't want the village. Uh, yeah, we'll get Super Monkey too. This is, oh, is going to be crazy if this works. So, hopefully Jockster knows what he's doing. Um, we're going to start off down here, guys. On this map, whenever you play, if you use subs, you always want to build in this one first and get up to twin uh, or get up to air bar starts because it shoots all the way up through all of them, all the way up to the top row. So you can see where Jockster built. If he built lower down, um, then it would shoot all the way up through everything else. So watch this, once we get uh, to round two, let's see if he starts sending eco immediately. Uh, hopefully he doesn't, all right good. So he doesn't start sending eco immediately. So watch, air burst starts, watch what it does. Boom, see that, it goes all the way up. So you definitely wanna do that if you guys ever play on this map. So yes, now he is sending eco, we'll start sending eco as well. Uh, normally I wait until about round four to start sending eco, but it's fine either way. Looks like he does have air burst darts as well. Um, it doesn't look like he has barbed darts though, but that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Um, so you can see what our air burst darts are doing and what his air burst darts are doing. So yes, his air burst darts are doing good, but you can see ours go all the way up and pop everything as well. Now it does take it a little bit of time, but it's not that big of a deal. Why did I just, <laughs> I, was, I just thought I was tapping on balloons, but I wasn't. So he's still holding off really, really well. Like we, no, no problem whatsoever with our uh with our sub right now uh doing a good job but let's go ahead and just build another one right actually no let's put another one right there you got to get these things perfect in these top ones so that you can fit two up in there we'll just get uh we'll just get barbed darts on that one to start off and now we're just going to grind some eco so hopefully we can go later with this guy with jockster um i'm gonna be trying some new stuff with the darling gunner yes i have used darling gunners before uh, but I want to I want to switch it up for you guys now I know that y'all love late game and so that's why I'm doing late game as well um, but I also want to uh, switch things up so that y'all don't always see ninja super monkey sub uh, you know what I'm saying so we're gonna bring in the darling gunner and the balloon chipper now yes you guys have seen balloon chippers because balloon chippers are a balloon chippers are such a good late game tower if you guys were wondering they're boss balloon chippers are so good late game so uh, you definitely want to uh, bring balloon chippers with you if you want to go really really late the latest game that I ever had was against like max uh, Temple of the Sun Gods like with wizards and cannons like you know the perfect temple and uh, And balloon chippers just crushed balloon chippers absolutely killed it. We didn't know what the heck was going on on the screen It was absolutely crazy um, He's 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 crushing the eco right now. I'm gonna save up for uh, some air burst action and then uh, start sending him yellows as well. He is going to have more ego than I am right now, uh, but that's totally fine. Now we're gonna start sending these and build up. Um, let's see guys, why don't y'all request this? Why don't y'all comment down below? Uh, what, what tower, name a new tower that you wanna see me go late game with, okay? So I went late-ish game with mortars uh, the other day. Uh, which didn't turn out too well. They don't do that much, but I think there's a new update coming that's going to help the mortars do damage to uh, Moabs as well, which is going to be epic. That's going to be so good uh, to see them do that. So um, that's going to. So we did that one. Um, I've done it with balloon chippers. I've done it with dartling gunners. Um, I, I guess I could do helicopters or planes uh, if you guys want uh, to see that as well, because certain maps they work really, really well on. Uh, our eco's doing really good right now. So, oh crap, we don't have any. Oh no, no camo detection whatsoever quite yet, uh, which is hilarious. So let's build this guy up and we're going to uh, submerge him and get him rolling. Why are you sending me whites, buddy boy? Huh? Why are you sending me whites? Submerge. Let's just go ahead and get this guy submerged uh, just in case to hold out right there. And uh, we are going to get up to about 700 eco or so. And then we are going to, actually, if he can shoot right now, I'm not going to put him. I'm just going to have him help out a little bit. So you guys don't want to submerge them all the way initially uh, if it's just this level 3 because he's not going to do anything. All he's going to do is remove camo. Um, so when there's not camo, I don't want him submerged. If there is camo, then you just click on him, go over and submerge him real quick, and you'll be good to go. So we're going to get our eco up to about 800, and then I'm going to save up uh, that 2500 and get him into a reactor sub because that's going to be pretty freaking clutch. 
uh, over there. So we've got this. We're almost up to 800. We should be able to get it in the next uh, little bit. We're going to just send some blacks, get up there, and uh, send a couple more after this, and then we should be good to go. Uh, he's holding off fine. All right, there we go. And 800. Now we're going to save up, and we are going to get the reactor sub rolling for us. Uh, oh gosh, we got a lot going on here. Come on, I need that reactor sub. Don't make me boost. Please don't make me boost. We're seeing zebras come in. Okay, we're good. We're good. We are good. Next one, we should get it right here. Come on, baby. There we go. Reactor sub and submerge. Um, you got to make sure you submerge it, guys. I see so many people forget to submerge because they don't know what you're doing. Every tower in this game has a, a target, pretty much. It has a, a, a targeting sense, um, except for like spike uh, spike towers and, and uh, attack shooters and things like that you can't uh, target so um, what you want to do is make sure that you know what you're targeted all that is is you click on it in the bottom left you can switch it up right there so we've got this rolling we're gonna get advanced Intel on both of these guys and uh, just continue building up our eco and let's get you know what next we're gonna build a dartling gunner so let's get our eco up to oh gosh oh okay good he held off I was worried there for a second I need to make but now that he boosted all right so we're gonna leave that there we're not gonna send him we're going to let him get his reactor sub real quick. Um, Jockster, get your reactor sub, my dude. Uh, so Jockster's going to go ahead and get his reactor sub. We are going to build his Dartling Gunner right in the best place possible. Aim him up there. Focused. This, 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 this. And uh, let's get plutonium because then it can pop everything. Uh, get those plutonium darts. And now we're going to go back to building up eco. So we're going to fill this whole little right side with the dartling gunners, guys. Hopefully we can get some good eco rolling. I'm feeling good about this. I think Jockster knows what he's doing. We should have fun. He's using subs and ninjas. You guys know I love that. Ugh. I'm Oh, gosh. I'm so jealous that I don't have ninjas. That sucks. Uh, I really, really wish that I had my ninjas to play with. You guys know how much I love ninjas. They are by far my favorite tower in the game. I just think they're so versatile. They're not that good early game, like the first 10 rounds, in my opinion. Uh, you guys can disagree if you want, but I think dart monkeys are better earlier because uh, ninjas are just more expensive. But as you get going and as you build up your eco, freaking Bloom Jitsu and Flash Bomb, guys, you can't beat it. You can't freaking beat it at all. Um, so let's build this other sub. Come on. We all saw that it fits. Don't lie there. Right? Right? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Come on. It's right here. It's right there. Nice. One, two, one, two and uh, get this guy back up there. Keep on building up our eco. We're going to save up 4,500 and upgrade all three of our subs to ballistic missiles as well because we're probably going to start seeing some ceramics coming out. Um, so 6, 12, 18. That'll be 18 seconds once we get up to 1,500 right here. And we will be good to go to upgrade all of those up to uh, the ballistic missiles. So let's go ahead and get one right there, right in time for all of these ceramics that are going to be coming out. Uh, around 22, guys, those ceramics, you got to make sure that you have... Uh, that you have your ballistic missiles ready to roll for the ceramics because ceramics can kill you if You're not ready for ceramics. They will crush you one of those gets through you done so uh, Upgrade this guy to ballistic as well, and let's build another sub right up in here. Look at that ladies and gentlemen That's what I'm freaking talking about and get this guy rolling. Come on Yep, there we go ballistic missiles dope, and let's keep on building up our eco so round 23 we're doing good here. We're doing good. I want to get my ego up to about 2,000 by round 24 if possible. The funny thing is, guys, uh, I used to try and get 1,000 by round 24, but now I've kind of figured out how to lay things down, how to uh, build up a good defense in order to defend well, and uh, you can get your ego up pretty quick in this game. You don't want to be too too greedy. You got to know what's coming. You know what I mean? Like, if you're building it too much, you're not going to have camo detection. You're not going to have lead popping power. You got to pay attention to what's coming. Uh, so I know the next big thing is going to be around 27 when we get the Moabs out. And honestly, right now, I could defend against one Moab with uh, all of these subs. It wouldn't be a problem. We'd be able to take it out fairly easily. Um, so I'm going to get up to 2,000, though. We're going to build one more sub over here and get him uh, rolling and strolling. Get him right over here. And boom. One, two, one, two. Okay. Aim up here. And then we got to get air burst and ballistic. There we go. Keep on building up now. Uh, next thing is probably going to be... I don't want... I might get one max balloon chipper up there towards the top to start uh, sucking in the Moabs and doing some work on those. Let's target all these guys on strong um, and do that. We're doing good. Look, look at this. We're holding off. Things are... I mean, things are moving along, but I think we're defending fairly well. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting the dartling gunner up, but... Oh, I just don't know. So that's enough eco for now. I'm going to go and build this guy right up here. And we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, 
put him on strong because we want him to focus on the Moabs when they come out. And uh, round 27 is when we're going to need that $8,000, guys, to suck in a Moab. It's ridiculous, but we'll get it in just a couple seconds, about 10 seconds now at this point. Uh, not going to build any eco or anything, just going to save up for that because round 27 is coming. Whole bunch of regens coming through, but it's fine because reactor subs are the enemy of regen, guys. Reactor subs absolutely crush any type of regen balloon. Oh, you guys would have seen that in my video the other day where there was a whole bunch. A guy tried to rush me, and I freaking crushed it. I defended it uh, because I bought a uh, reactor sub, and it, and it, just, it just dominated it. So ridiculous. So, uh, actually, here we go. Why don't we get a super monkey right here in the middle and get him rolling? We're going to have him on. Uh, you know what? Let's have him on first, and we'll go ahead and get super range right there. And I think we'll do... Whoa, we already destroyed that freaking thing. That's ridiculous. Boom, get him rolling plasma. Our eco is killing it right now, guys. Our eco is absolutely ridiculous. We were able to get it to plasma uh, really, really fast with the super monkey. And uh, he's going to do work for us. So let's build up to 3,000 eco by round 30 or so. It's funny. I always try and match the round. So like round 30, I want about 3,000 eco. Round 40, uh, I definitely want to have about 4,000 eco, if not uh, 5,000 at that point. So here we go. We're going to get our 3,000 eco. There we go, baby boy. And let's build a couple more uh, balloon chippers up here towards the top because they're going to be clutch for us when it comes to taking out um, when it comes to taking out all these Moabs that are become, that are going to be coming out. So uh, Jockster again, guys, knows what he's doing. Like he's got a super monkey, he's got subs, he's got ninjas. He's doing work, man. He is doing work over there, and I'm stoked to be playing with him. So let's see what we got next. Uh, we can go left on this, which is so sick. The rapid fire is six thousand. The next update, the next upgrade, guys. Is 55,000. It's one of the most expensive upgrades in the game right there uh, at 55,000. That is absurd. Like to get an Apache, I think it's what, 17,000? To get that is 55. It's so ridiculous. Obviously, the uh, the Temple of the Sun God is 100,000. So that's definitely the most. But this 50,000 is ridiculous, man. But you can see that they melt. They, they definitely melt. They do good work over there. Um, let's get this guy up to epic range, and uh, then we're going to go robo on him. I'm not going to get Temple of the Sun Gods on this one because they're not going to be uh, that good. I'd rather have the, the robo ability uh, in the middle just doing freaking work. Doing work. Um, so we're going to keep on building up our eco here. Round 32, we're doing fine. Uh, let's actually build uh, a couple more of these balloon chippers up here that are going to go super wide funnel for us and take everything out. Put that guy on strong. Again, we're doing good. Like, we're holding off really well um, with everything that we have. We don't have that much camo detection on the screen right now. All we have is the Dartling Gunner and uh, the and our uh, radioactive, whatever the freak, our reactor sub. Um, so let's build another, another one of these back here in the back right there. One, two, three, four. Nice. Crushing it. Get our eco up to 4,000 here. Remember when I said I wanted 4,000 by round 40? Yeah, screw that. I want it by round 33. <laughs> we're doing work with the eco, and we're defending really well. So I'm not too worried about it uh, at all. We're going to get that 4,000, and then we're going to start building up some more uh, defenses. So let's get, some, let's, get another, uh, let's get another one of these guys right down. I want to get these perfect so I can like, fill up this whole area with them. And boom, boom, boom. Yes, yes, do work, baby boy. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get another, uh, another, right. I saw it fit right there. There we go. And we're going to upgrade that all the way as well. Put him on strong. And we're holding off. We're doing good. So let's keep on building up our eco here. We're going to go over to a Bionic Terra in just a couple of seconds. Um, he's already got two of them. He's holding off really well. This video is going to be super long uh, because after that one guy lost, it took me forever to find somebody to play with, and I just kept it recording for like eight minutes. I guess eight minutes isn't really forever, but I invited a whole bunch of people, and they just forgot to do it. So, uh, But we'll see what happens here. We may, uh, You know what? Maybe I'm not even going to show that. So you guys don't even know what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> I played with a guy before this, and he lost. We're not going to show that clip. We're going to start this over. Uh, whatever. So, here we go. Um, now that we've got that out of the way, we're going to go and upgrade this guy to Robo Monkey and continue building up our eco. Golly, man, we're almost to 5,000 by round 35. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Round 40, you guys know, is the death round. Oh, gosh, round 40 is the death round. Um, you got to be really, really careful at round 40. Um, so, we're going to build some more Super Monkeys to help out with that. 
and we should be able to pop them with this bionic ability if we get up to it in time. So there we go, 5,000 eco. We're just gonna sit that right there, and let's build a, another super monkey right here. Boom, we're gonna go one, two, one, two, three. Look at that, baby. That is why I love eco so good. Eco is so good. Balloon eco is so much better than farmed. I don't care what you guys say. I don't care what you guys say. Balloon eco is far superior than farms, especially late game. Maybe early game farms are better, but because you can sell them and make your money back from your investment when you can't really sell your the balloons that you've spent money on. You know what I'm saying? But overall, I just love balloon eco way more than I love farms, without a freaking doubt. Um, round 38 here. Let's get another. Uh, another come on. Come on. Tell me that he fits. He doesn't fit. We'll get one right there. No, I didn't want to go Sun God. Dang it. Oh, what a waste of money. What a waste of money over there, guys. <laughs> uh, keep on building up our eco, and then I'm going to get the bionic so that we can use their abilities. Uh, round 38, round 39. Come on, if I can get up to 6,000 eco by round 39, I'm going to be looking real pretty, guys, and we'll definitely be able to defend uh, against the death of round... All right, no, 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 we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. We're going to save up. We're going to make sure we can get at least two of these things to just pop whatever decides to come out. We'll go ahead and boost the round, and while we're boosting that round, we'll build um, some more balloon chippers up there in the top, because no matter what, I'm gonna end up touching them. You know what I mean? I'm gonna end up touching those balloon chippers, so we gotta be careful. I also cannot wait to get more freaking dartling gunners down at the bottom of the map. It's going to be absolutely absurd, ladies and gentlemen. So, round 40 is almost here. We're gonna get one more bionic ability. Uh, let's actually get this one and uh, then we're just gonna do some work. So right now, all we have doing damage is our subs. Oh my goodness, look at this, look at this. Look at these things coming around. Round 40 is coming, and uh, we are going to go ahead and build these guys up here, right here, and let's just go ahead and boost that, and get that rolling. I just heard something inside my, it sounded like my dog. It sounded like Millie, but it wasn't, because she isn't here right now. Um, let's, oh, what, what, we can build these up in here? That's ridiculous! All right, I gotta build more. I don't wanna have to use. I don't wanna have to use it again. Look at this. That's so crazy. We can build them up in there. Yes. Six more seconds, please. I need to build another one. I gotta build another one. No, no. We're gonna accidentally touch it. Select it. Yes, yes. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Now we don't have to use another boost. Yeah, baby. All right, get him uh, upgraded. Round 40, dude. This round wasn't hard at all. Where the heck are the all the regions that come out? Uh, I guess they already got melted initially by the bionics, but man, we're doing work right now. We're oh wait, Oop. <laughs> they were pointing the wrong way. Uh, so I feel like this could go really late. Honestly, I think that this could go really late. If you guys uh, think that this is gonna go late, let me know. Here, go ahead. Here's what you gotta do. Put your predictions in. All right, put your predictions in as to what round we're gonna get to. Okay. I'm gonna start building up some more uh, dartling gunners in a little bit. I'm gonna try and get to ten thousand eco guys okay we're gonna try to get a ten thousand eco so that we can build up dartling gunners super super quick um we do need to get some more uh i do need to get a couple of these guys with their ability um so we're gonna go right with those and get the super vac the super vac ability guys which is freaking monstrous the super vac ability is so clutch um especially late game because it just brings it all in uh you need about six of them or at least that's what i've kind of figured works well uh, we're gonna go ahead and use one of the super vac abilities right there. Suck everything in, get another super vac right there, and uh, we're just gonna have all of these up here rolling for us with that super vac ability. Uh, how many do we have? We're at one, two, three, four, I believe, because we used we used one of them already. Uh, one, one, five, five, five of them. All right, so let's get one more. Let's get one right up here. Can we go all the way up with it? Oh gosh, look what we got right there. So one more super vac ability. And then we're gonna see if we can build, yes we can, I saw it, nice. Go all the way right there. These balloon chippers are gonna be clutch for us, as you guys can see, uh, that ZOMG is just getting owned right now. So, now that we've got that, we've got a couple of bionic terror abilities, let's, put our, let's get our eco up so that we can build more dartling gunners. Um, dartling gunners aren't the best, they're just kinda cool. Like, it's gonna be dope for those of you that haven't seen them and seen how good they are. Uh, it's really, really cool, they're, they're, they're fun, they are fun to watch. Uh, they're a little bit annoying with farms. You guys can't use them with farms because you're touching all over the place on the screen, connecting, collecting bananas, and uh, it just doesn't work for you. So, 
Definitely don't do that. Uh, while we're building up our eco, we're gonna upgrade things as we can. Uh, I probably should have waited one more proc. There we go, we're good. Uh, round 45, here we go, guys. Let me know now, also, what is your favorite late game tower? Mine is kind of turning into the balloon chipper. I think that they're super OP, and if you get enough of them, dang it, that whole time I thought I was building ego and I wasn't. If you get enough of them, you, you're good. Like, you're legitimately good. I, I feel like the, the one round that Nick and I did, he had super monkeys and ended up losing, but the, uh, the balloon chippers, man, they held off. Uh, if you guys want to see me play this game live, because obviously this is recorded, if you guys want to see me play this game live, uh, go to the description in the video and click on where it says I'm streaming, um, and I stream on camcord balloons all the time, all the freaking time, uh, a couple hours a week, uh, so definitely make sure that you guys follow that, you'll get notified, uh, again that's right down below, so I'll give you guys a second to do that, okay, do it right now, you're not going to miss anything, I'll stop talking while you do it. For those of you that have already followed, you're good to go. Alright, we're good. Oh, yes, watch this. Boom, Ray of Doom. Look at that thing. Woo! Look at that Ray of Doom just, just crushing right now. Let's just use the Super Vac ability to use it because we've got a bunch of them. Boom, there it goes. Super Vac, you can see what that does. And the Ray of Doom just melts everything inside of it. Guys, these rays of doom, these ray of dooms are so freaking ridiculous. Look at it. It's owning. It looks so absurd. I got to build more of them, but we got to get our eco up to like 10,000. Oh, because things are about to get crazy. Things are definitely about to get crazy over here. Uh, let's build up a couple more balloon chippers. We don't need any more of the super vac abilities uh, because we've got six of them, so they should be fine. Uh, but let's build up more of these guys to just suck everything in for us. And uh, we will hopefully be able to defend fairly well with it. Uh, you can see that he's got. See, right now he's he's going with the with the bionic uh, with the bionic terrors, um, and I, they're not gonna they're not gonna be as good as if he had like really max super monkeys, uh, or if he had really max temple of the sun god. So uh, I think this one's gonna end up being in our boat just because of the fact that we have our balloon chippers up there doing work. Uh, he, oh, I totally forgot about first strike ability. We got to get some of those rolling too. Uh, we can go ahead and sell this reactor sub because that's not going to do jack for us anymore. Let's get this guy up in here and we're just going to go all the way over there. First strike. Watch this. Look at that. Two first strike abilities like immediately. Absolutely ridiculous. Got to get our eco up again um, to 10,000. All right. So we're going to try and get 10,000 eco. We might even go for like 15,000 eco or something. Absolutely absurd. Uh, hopefully I don't run out of memory on my computer here because that would be wildly unfortunate. I'm looking over at my screen while I'm recording right here. Um, if you guys see my setup, there's a setup video. Uh, it shows you kind of what my office looks like. But yeah, let's get another first strike ability over here. Let's just use the super vac ability because we can. Uh, it's going to suck everything in up there. And uh, we'll just go ahead and pop all three of these as well just to blow up some stuff. I think that they all missed. <laughs> They're working on the first strike ability, guys. It's... It just doesn't work that good sometimes. Actually, a lot of times it doesn't work that good. Um, all right, so we're going to get one more Ray of Doom over here. But you know what I think we should do first? Let's just build up a whole bunch of these guys, okay? So we've got this one. Let's build him up. And boom, one, two, three, one, two. Point all the way up here. There we go. Build up another one right uh, here. Boom, one, two, three, one, two. Point up there. Oh, yeah, we're going to get so many of them down here. It's going to be ridiculous. Yes! Alright, let's start back over here and go up to right there. Can we go over? Yeah, we can go. We got to get this right so we can fit as many as possible uh, on this little section down here. Right there. Point up. And one, two, three. Oh yeah, another Ray of Doom. That's what I'm talking about. Super Vac ability. <laughs> and uh, we've got two Rays of Doom right on top of each other. Let's build another one right here and scoot him over. There we go. One, two, three, one, two. Aim up there. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, this is gonna this is gonna be absolutely ridiculous. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I can't wait. Come on. There we go. Aim up there. One, two, three, one, two. And uh <laughs> look how cool this looks. They look so awesome. I love how they look. One, two, three, one, two. And aim back up here. Uh and we're just gonna get all these guys up and then we're just gonna save up our eco and try and like we're gonna save up to like a hundred thousand dollars or hundred and ten thousand I guess. And then just upgrade a whole bunch of them at once. Because um, that'll be freaking clutch. Look at them. They're over here just absolutely... Can we not fit anymore? No. Oh, right, right. Where was it? 
I know we all saw it. It's right here. It's right freaking here. Yep. Yes. Yes. There it is. And another Ray of Doom. One, two. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, look at all those guys. <laughs> They're so sick. They're so freaking ridiculous. I'm going to use some first strike abilities over here. Let's just use the super bag. Let's Screw it. Let's just use those. <laughs> Because we're fine. Look at that. Everything's just being passed around up there. All these rays of doom are absolutely killing it. We're going to point them right at where all the super vac abilities are. Um, just so that whenever we use it, they just melt. Uh, you can see his side. He's got a lot of the bionic terrors over there. Um, is that what it's called? I think. Bionic? Yeah. Bionic terror. Or is that? No. No, that's not what it is. Bionic is the, uh, is the boomerang. It's... Um, Oh my gosh, what the heck is it? I don't know. I guess I need to build another one. All right, let's get some more of these up here. I'm going to boost right there on accident. But, hey, you got to do it sometimes, right? Uh, we'll keep these guys rolling, building a whole bunch more balloon chippers up here. One, two, three. There we go. Still rolling. Shoot, let's upgrade another one of these to Ray of Doom and get some more balloon chippers up here doing their thing as well. Come on, Eco. There we go. We got our Eco rolling. It's doing work for us. Um, build this guy right here. There we go. One, two, three, four. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, Millie is at uh, daycare right now playing with her friends, having a blast. Uh, it helps me be able to work whenever she's gone. She doesn't bother me as much. And honestly, she likes it. Like, she likes to be around other dogs. She's very playful. So she's over there hanging out with all the little puppies at the doggy daycare, just loving life. Let's use the super vac ability right here just to do it because we can... Um, and build up another one of these guys. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous, guys. We're absolutely going to crush this. Um, we'll build one more of these, and then we're going to start saving up for more of the uh, of the Dartling Gunners to just do work. Another Super Vac. Let's go ahead and use these three first strike abilities just to pop everything over there. And uh, we're going to have these Dartling... These Dartling Gunners are going to town. They're going to absolute town on everything that's rolling up there. And uh, super back ability right there. And let's just pop these three. One, two, three. Just uh, do a little bit of damage. At this point, we're not going to be able to build that much um, up there in the top of there if there was any room because we can't see anything. 10,000 eco right there, guys. Absolutely killing it. Um, we're going to get another ray of doom instead of first strike abilities just because the rays of doom are, are freaking ridiculous. Like, yes. We are going to get Rays of Doom. Ray of Doom. There we go. Continue building this up. Look at all the Rays of Doom. Do work. <laughs> They're so ridiculous. I want to build more of them down there at the bottom uh, if we can. But obviously the trash can's over there. We might be able to fit two. Let's see if we can fit one. One right uh, here. Can we fit one above it? Oh, please, please. Let me fit it. Yes. Yes. Nice. <laughs> they're so sick. Oh, gosh, they're so sick. Rays of Doom with freaking balloon chippers are dirty. They just do so much damage. We can hold everything up there uh, with the super back ability and just let the Rays of Doom melt everything. Here we go. We're going to get another Ray of Doom right over here. Point back up there again. And, oh, look at that. Super back ability. Get crushed. Super back. Um, all right, so let's see. If you guys are still here... Uh, which obviously a lot of you guys all are still here first of all thank you so much the fact that you guys stay this long in videos blows my mind I mean some of you probably fast forward whatever I'm totally fine with that but the fact that y'all are still here hanging out watching is absolutely amazing it's absolutely amazing okay so um, let's see here I'm gonna think I'm gonna continue commentating but I'm gonna think about something uh, special that I can tell you guys uh, that only you will know all right, so only you guys that are here watching this will know. You can comment it down below, okay, or you can comment a response to it. Um, so let's see here. Uh, I'm just going to keep commentating while I try and think about it. So we're doing okay. We've got all of our Dartling Gunners down here, and I need to upgrade uh, First Strike, First Strike, First Strike. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Pop, pop, pop. Um, I need to get a couple more First Strike abilities, obviously, but I really want to just get more Rays of Doom because they're absolutely uh, absurd. So um, let's see here. Um, gosh, I don't know. I, I want to tell you guys stuff, but I don't really know what to tell y'all. Um, here we go. We'll talk about my preference in, uh, no, <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. Uh, let's see here. What do we want to do? I'm going to, all right, here, I'm going to name for y'all my first girlfriend, okay? My first girlfriend. 
Uh, we're gonna talk about it. Let's see. This was in the fifth grade. Fifth grade? No, fourth grade. All right, uh, my first girlfriend when I was younger, and then of course, you know, your first like girlfriend, girlfriend. So my first girlfriend when I was younger, her name was Chrissy Brown. She was a redhead. She was taller than me too. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was just a little boy uh, talking to this really tall girl. And maybe she just seemed a lot taller because it was in the fifth grade and anybody over like three feet was tall. <laughs> um, but her name was Chrissy Brown. She was a redhead. And uh, it was funny, I actually went home a couple years ago and ran into her, like 20 years later, like, oh, what's up? Uh, how's it going? You remember me? <laughs> uh, so that was my first, my first girlfriend's name ever was Chrissy Brown. And uh, let's see here, my first real girlfriend, I would say her name was Rachel, and that was in like the, shoot, I don't know, maybe ninth or 10th grade? When did we date? 10th grade was my first real girlfriend that I like took home to my mom and was like, hey, look, this is my girlfriend. Um, at least I think that's who it was. I don't really know. We're just getting sidetracked now. I had a lot of girlfriends uh, because I could never make up my mind. 